Hello friends, this is NMS and welcome to the Great Mantra. So, in this video, we are going to see the, some of the questions uh, uh, from the uh, decoder. Okay, from the decoder. So, our first question of this session is this. Okay, this is the question of first in which it is asking the functionality implemented by the circuit zone below. So, this is the circuit zone. Okay and this circuit how it's work and how uh, this circuit okay how it's work okay generally this circuit how it's work so here is the option is it's work as a 2 to 1 marks 4 to 1 marks 7 to 1 marks or 6 to 1 marks so here the circuit is given it's okay it is a previous gate question right it is the previous gate question okay uh, here the two Two to four decoder is given, okay, which is fed with the input A and B, and here the yeah, enable max one, okay, enable max high. So this two is to four decoder is working, and here it's given tie state buffer. It's given tie state buffer where the input is PQRS and its output is combined and given as a Y, okay, and the control signal into the buffer is provided by this uh, decoder right so uh, how uh, the question is how it's uh, how this circuit is work so please uh, pause this video okay and solve it by yourself and uh, uh, if we will feel if you will free uh, feel any difficulty then see the video right okay first try by uh, uh, by yourself okay to get the more uh, clarity to the this topic okay this decoder uh, topic okay so it's always be beneficial for the student to solve the question by yourself okay don't depend upon the uh, anyone okay so first pause the video and solve this question and after that i am here to solve the question right so i am solving this okay so we know there is a two type of the buffer one is simple buffer and second one is the uh, tri state buffer okay so for simple buffer this is a simple buffer where it's given input a and the output y so if a will be if a will be zero output will be zero if a will be one output will be one okay and there is also a second buffer this is the tri state buffer it's having the three state okay it having the three state this is the control signal this is the input a and this is the y so if the control signal is zero if the control is signal is zero then output y will be high impedance high impedance okay z and if control signal will be equal to one then if then output output y will be equal to the a so if a will be 0 output will be 0 if a will be 1 output will be 1 okay so this is the tri state buffer and this is simple the buffer okay so in tri state buffer depending upon the control signal the input is appear to the output so if the control signal is 0 then the high impedance will be appear at the output y and if the control signal will be equal to 1 then this input will be appear at the output right so here it's given the tri state buffer okay so first we have to uh, see this tri state buffer okay how it's work okay after that let's jump into the circuit given into the question okay so here we know the working of the decoder okay so if our input okay a and the b will be equal to 0 0 this d naught will be activated d naught will be equal to 1 and if d naught will be equal to 1 okay d naught will be equal to 1 and all this 3 d1 d2 d3 will be equal to 0 so here so here for a b will equal to 0 0 this d naught will be equal to 1 and this all will be equal to 0 0 so 0 will be present here 0 will be present here 0 will be present here and 1 will be present here right this one will be present here so we know for the tri state buffer for the tri state buffer if the control equal to zero then output then output 
will be equal to the high impedance high impedance okay so here and if the control will be equal to 1 then output y will be equal to a so here this output will be high impedance this output will be high impedance and this buffer let's assume that this is the buffer b1 this is b2 and this is b3 and this is b4 so the output of the buffer b4 b3 b2 will be equal to 0 and the output okay high impedance will be equal to high impedance okay and the output of this b1 will be equal to the p so here output of the buffer b1 okay will be equal to the p so this p will be appear here and this p will be equal to the output so for the a and b be equal to 0 0 we will write here a and the b and here output y so for a and b be equal to 0 0 y will be equal to p right similarly similarly for the input a and b will be equal to 0 1 for the input a and b will be equal to 0 1 so this d0 will be equal to 0 and this d1 will be equal to 1 and this d2 d3 will be equal to 0 and 0 so this now here it's appear 0 0 here it's appear 1 the control signal here it's appear 0 so this b1 b3 and b4 will be in the high impedance and this b2 will be pass the q to the output so this output so this output y will be equal to the q for which for a equal to 0 and the b equal to 1 so for a will be equal to 0 and b equal to 1 y will be equal to q okay if the input will be equal to 1 0 if the input will be equal to 1 0 right CMM if the input will be equal to 1 0 then this d0 will be 0 this d1 will be 0 and this d2 will be 1 and this d3 will be 0 so here 0 appear okay here 1 appear here 0 appear and here 0 appear so this tri buffer buffer b4 b2 and b1 will be at a high impedance and the b3 will pass the signal the b3 will pass the input at the output so r will be our output so r will be our output so for a b will be equal to 1 0 a b will be equal to 1 0 output will be equal to r okay and if the a b will be equal to 1 1 if the a b will be equal to 1 1 then d0 will be 0 d1 will be 0 d2 also will be 0 and d3 will be equal to the 1 so this control signal will be equal to 1 this control signal will be equal to 0 so here the tie is to the buffer b1 b2 and b3 will be at the high impedance and this b4 will pass the input to the output so this output will be equal to s this output will be equal to s so for a b 1 1 for a b 1 1 this output will be equal to s right right for a b 1 1 this output will be equal to s now see our input signal p q r s p q r s and for a our input signal p q r s and for a and b 0 0 okay p will be our output for a and b 0 1 q will be our output for a and b 1 0 r will be our input and for a and b 1 1 s will be our output so so here uh, i can erase this okay so here if i make this 4 to 1 max 4 to 1 if i make this 4 to 1 max and if i will give this force into signal and do two selective line s1 s0 okay and this p q r s and here i will give a and the b okay so for a b will be equal to 0 0 for a b will be equal to 0 0 this p will be appear at the output this p will be appear at the output for a b 1 uh, 0 1 for a b 0 1 this q will be appear at the output as we already seen that okay in the multiplexer for a b will be equal to 1 0 this r 
will be appear at the output and for a b 1 1 this h will be appear at the output so for this 4 to 1 marks the truth table is like this okay the truth table is like this for a and b 0 0 p will be appear for a and b 0 1 q will be appear for a and b 1 0 r will be appear and for a and b 1 1 s will be appear so we can say that we can say that this circuit so we can say that this circuit is working like a 4 to 1 marks this circuit is working as a 4 to 1 max. 4 to the 1 max. Okay. Okay. I uh, I assume that you your concept is clear. Okay. For the max, the max for the decoder. Okay. Before coming to the class, please revise the uh, the previous okay lecture and please do it again one one time by yourself. Okay. So we will be the good uh, enough in this topic decoder. Okay, this is the very important topic for the gate as well as the PSC. Right. Uh, I I also uh, tell that the working of the buffer here. Okay, so this is a good question. Okay, ask in the gate. Okay, and uh, we have seen this question clearly. Okay, uh, by changing A B. Okay, by changing A B. Okay we are passing this input to the output we are passing this input to the output so it's work as a multiplexer this is the four input and this is the two selective line and this is the output okay so it's work as a four to one multiplexer okay now move to the our second question right So before solving the question, okay, don't wait for me, please pause the video and solve it by yourself and through this we will see, okay, the change in yourself for solving the question, okay. So don't be fear of making mistake because everyone make mistake and everyone learn from the mistake okay so please before solving me pause the video and solve it by yourself one time okay at least one time and then see the solution okay and after solving if you get the right solution then we will also feel happy okay that uh, we have solved the okay correct okay so please try it by yourself before solving okay don't depend on me for the solution okay now there is a, another question this is the very important question okay so this uh, we will uh, uh, i have left the one topic in the multiplexer where uh, i told you that uh, please uh, uh, do it by yourself that how a multiplexer is working as a universal logic circuit so in this question we are going to see the some of the okay some of the we are going to make the sum of the grid like and get okay uh, like uh, by using the marks okay in this question okay so this is the question here is asking construct no not construct how many the question is The question is how many 2 to 1 max 2 to 1 max required to construct okay 2 to 4 to construct 2 to 4 decoder So this is the question. Okay, how many two to one marks required? How many two to one marks required? Okay, for making the two to four decoder. For making two to four decoder, how much? How many two to one marks required? Okay. So uh, as we know how the decoder work and what is the block diagram of the decoder. So here we will write. Okay. Here we will write two to four decoder. So this is 2 to 4 
Greek order. And here we have given two input A and B, where A is the MSB and the BL is the LSB. And we will see the four output as B, D0, B1, D2, and the D3. Here the four output, okay, here the four output. So D0 will be equal to A bar, B bar. D1 will be equal to A bar, B. Here A, B bar, and here A, B. Okay. And uh, for the marks, let me tell here marks, okay, S. Yes. Select in and here in the end. Uh, here, how many? Uh, 2 is to 1 marks, okay, 2 is to 1, one marks. Here, 2 input and 1 output, why? Okay, here I know and I want, okay. So, by using this uh, 2 is to 1 marks, okay, how we can construct this 2 is to 4 decoder? 2 is to 4 decoder, okay. So please observe by using one marks by using one marks we can only we can only get the one output okay and by using one decoder we will get the four output okay please keep this in mind okay by using one two to one marks either it will be the two to one marks four to one marks eight to one marks sixteen to one marks or any other marks okay we will get only one output right so. So here first we will try to get this a b and a b bar and the a bar b and the a bar b bar okay so for getting this a b for getting this a b for getting this a b how many marks required how many two to one marks required For getting this a b how many two to one marks required so here one two to one marks required for getting a b here we will make a okay here we will write b and here we will ground it okay so see how we will see the output so here y will be equal to okay a bar and zero and plus a b so here y will be equal to a b so for getting a b one marks is required okay similarly okay similar to this for getting a b bar how many marks is required okay how many marks is required so for getting a b bar how many two to one marks is required this is two to one marks so here two input here s and here one output so we have to get a and the b bar so here we will see we will apply b or here we will apply okay b okay here we will apply b and here we will apply a okay and here we will ground it so output will be equal to b bar a and plus b into zero so output will be equal to a and the b bar right so for getting a bar one marks required okay now for getting a bar b how many marks is required so for a bar b how many two to one marks is required okay okay here one selecting select line so for getting the a bar b okay so he, uh, here we will use a and here we will use b and here we will ground it so here r to y will be equal to okay y will be equal to a bar and the b plus a and the zero so here y will be equal to the a bar b okay now for getting this a bar b bar how many marks is required right how many two to one marks required to so this two to one marks okay here two input and one output okay here one selecting line so for getting for getting a bar and the b bar okay so we will write here a okay and we will write here b bar okay and we will ground here okay so here or to y will be equal to a bar b bar okay plus a and zero so here output will be equal to a bar and b bar right and for getting this b bar for getting for getting this b bar how many marks is required for getting this b bar how many marks is required 
so one marks is required here you will write b and here we will write one and here we will ground it and here output of y will be here output of y will be b bar and one okay into b and zero so y will be equal to the b bar this is also two to one marks so for getting the two to four decoder how many two to one marks is required so total we require one two three four and five total five not the total five two to one marks required total five two to one marks required okay for getting this a and b one marks required for getting this a and b bar one marks required for getting this a bar b one marks required and for getting a bar b bar two marks required two marks required so like this the question asked in the grid that how many two, uh, two one marks required for getting the two to four decoder so uh, the answer will be five we require the five two to one marks for construct the one two to four decoder okay right so we will do like this okay okay so in this lecture next uh, we are going to uh, see the encoder okay encoder and there is a lots of question from the marks and the, from the decoder okay that we need to solve and we will solve that question in the next uh, class okay we will see that question in the next class first we try to solve the concept related to this uh, combinational circuit right so we will start with the new okay new thing that is the encoder okay encoder so let me erase this we will solve encoder in this lecture and, and after that we will see the question related to the uh, decoder multiplexer encoder demultiplexing into the next lecture right So let's start with the encoder, okay? So what is the encoder? Encoder is also a combinational circuit. Encoder is also a combinational circuit which is used to convert any 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 data into the binary, okay? Any data or any code into the binary code okay into the binary so it convert it is a combinational circuit encoder is a combinational circuit combinational circuit that used to convert any code into into the 
binding what we have seen into the decoder decoder convert the binding into the encoder okay and encoder do the opposite to that of the decoder it convert the any code into the binary okay uh, so for example okay it convert okay octal octal to binary by using 8 to 3 encoder okay it convert decimal to bcd by using 10 to 4 Encoder okay by using 10 to 4 encoder and it convert okay hexadecimal to binary by using 16 to 4 encoder. So here uh, we have seen the definition of the encoder that encoder is also a combination circuit which is used to convert the any code into the binary so here the 8 to 3 encoder is used to convert octal to binary and the 10 to 4 encoder will be used to convert decimal to bcd and binary coded decimal and uh, 16 to 4 decoder is used to convert the hexadecimal to the binary okay so uh, uh, there is a two type of the encoder okay next we will going to see the type of the encoder so there is a two type of the encoder the first is the normal encoder and the second is the priority encoder okay the first is two type of encoder two two type of encoder the first is normal encoder And the second is priority encoder. Okay. So first we will see the normal okay eight eight two three encoder. First we will see the normal eight two three encoder. Okay. So let's see the normal eight two three encoder. Right. And then we will see the priority encoder. <sighs> so here is the encoder, okay? So normal. 8 to 3 encoder okay normal 8 to 3 encoder so first we will see here the block diagram uh, in this portion and in that portion we will see the truth table right so here we will see the block diagram okay. so here there is the 8 input 1 2 3 4 5 6, 7 and 8, here 8 input and 3 output, ok, this 1, 2 and 3 and here this is the y not y1 and the y2 and here this is the valid, ok, and this is, uh, what is this, this is the i not i1, i2, i3, I I five I six and the I seven and we can say here um, this is the eight to three encoder and this is the block diagram okay this is the block diagram of the eight to three encoder okay now we will see the truth table first before that we will see here how it's working so if uh, we know that the encoder is going to convert any code into the binary so we, if we provide the any code here we, it will be converted into the binary and we have also seen that a to three encoder you to convert octa into the binary okay right so here if we provide the i node as, as logic one if you provide i node as logic one then y node will be so the output as the 
and not y1 y2 will be equal to the 0 0 0 this show that there is a signal at the input i0 ok if we will provide this i1 will be at logic i and all the input at logic 0 then the output will be equal to 0 0 1 ok 0 0 1 this show that ok if we will uh, uh, calculate the decimal equivalent of this band with 0 0 1 so we will get the 1 this means the signal is provided at the 1 similarly if any signal is provided at the uh, 5 ok if any signal is provided at the 5 means this 5 will be i5 will be 1 then the output will be equal to the 1 0 1 if we will take the binary component we will see 1 0 1 as a 5 so in this way if any signal is uh, ok applied at the input it converted in it into the binary ok binary and if we will calculate the decimal equivalent of the binary we will see the same ok number that provided at the input ok now we will see the uh, truth table ok so here i think i6 I, I, I think this is visual to all of you i4 i3 i2 i1 i0 ok and this is the y3 y2 ok y2 y1 and the y0 ok and this is the valid and this is the valid ok So, if all will be equal to 0, okay, if all will be equal to, if all the input will be equal to the 0, okay, if we equal to the 0, then this y2, y1, y0 will be anything, either it will be 0 or it will be 1, it will be the non pair and the validity will be equal to the 0 and this valid signal will be 0. So in this way we can see that this is the invalid input, this is the invalid input, right? It shows that this is the invalid input. So if we make i not x as a 1 and we will keep all this 0, we will keep all this 0, then the output will be 0, 0, 0 and this valid signal will be equal to 1. Now, now, This will be equal to 0, 0 and 1. Okay, 0, 0, 0. Right. This will be equal to 0, 0, 0. So that is so that I0 is activated. It so that if we get the binary equivalent, uh, decimal equivalent of this 0, 0, 0, it so that uh, the decimal equivalent of 0, 0, 0 is 0 means there is a signal at the I0. Okay. At the I0. Now, if we make this at logic high and this all at logic 0 then the output will be equal to 0 0 1 and the valid will be equal to the 1 this so that i0 is i1 is triggered okay i1 there is an input at i1 and if we get the decimal equivalent of this my video 0 1 we will get the 1 okay similarly if we apply this i2 at logic i and we will make all this at 0 Okay, all this is 0, 2, 2, 4, 2, 6, 2, 8, okay. So, we will get the output as 0, 1, 0. This decimal equivalent of 0, 1, 0 is 2. And this shows that the, uh, the signal is applied as I2. Similarly, if we make this one and this 0, this output will be 0, 1, 1. If we make this one, This zero after this one zero zero. If we make this one later all this zero, this will be equal to one zero one. If we make this one and this all zero, this is the one one zero. And if we make this one and this all is zero, this is the 
Right. So uh, we will uh, okay write the Boolean expression for the output. So here and the validity will be one. Okay, right. Validity will be one. Okay. So for y not for y not. Okay, where the uh, y not will be one for this and for this and for this and for this. So y not will be one for okay one for i one. Will be one for i one plus i1 plus i3 plus i5 and plus i7 this y1 this y1 will be 1 for this this and this and this so this is i2 and then i2 and then i3 and then i6 and then i7 and this y2 will be equal to this okay this is my i4 plus i5 plus i6 and plus i7 so this is the boolean expression okay this is the boolean expression for the output y2 y1 and the y0 okay this is the boolean expression for the output okay i1 i3 i5 and the i7 i2 i3 i6 and the i7 and i4 i5 i6 and the i7 right uh, so whatever the input is present here it will reflect the bandwidth of that input okay and it will cross check it by calculating the decimal equivalent of uh, this bandwidth this input will be appear okay we will get this input okay so there is a one problem in this normal encoder and we all know that what will be the problem in this normal encoder okay if we will make okay if we will make okay this if we will make okay i7 and the i6 as one one i7 and plus i6 at m1 okay if we make this i6 will be equal to 1 and the i7 will be equal to 1 okay this two input if you make this i7 will be equal to 1 and this i6 will be equal to 1 then according to this the output will be if we will make the i7 will be equal to 1 then this y0 will be equal to 1 i6 will be equal to 1 while i7 will be equal to 1 then this i1 will be equal to 1 okay and this i6 and the i7 let me change the example okay if i provide if i provide i5 and the i6 equal to 1 if i will provide the i5 and i6 and i1 okay if I provide the i5 and the i6 as a 1, so if I have provided i5 and the i6 as a 1, okay, as a 1, see here, i5 and the i6 as a 1, I have provided, so here i0 will be equal to, okay, so here i5 will be equal to 1, here i5 will be equal to 1, here i5 will be equal to 1, so our y0 will be equal to 1, here i6 will be equal to 1, so our R2 will be equal to 1 and here i5 i6 will be equal to 1 no, r2 will be equal to 1 so we, we are getting the output as according to the logic expression of the output if we provide i5 and i6 i think i5 and the i6 1 1 if we provide i5 and the i6 and 1 1 we will get the output as we will get the output as 1 1 and 1 okay we will get the output as 1 1 1 one one and the one and the decimal and and the decimal okay and the decimal equivalent for this i one one and the one is okay two to power one plus two to power one and plus sorry this is the two to power two plus two to power one and plus two to power zero this will be equal to four plus two and plus one will be equal to seven so if we see the output we will get the same end okay and here we will 
think that the input seven will be make at okay logic high the input seven will be make at logic i but the actual condition is i5 and the i6 is at logic one i think uh, okay let me explain once uh, okay one time another if we make the i5 and the i6 will be equal to one okay if i make the i5 input i5 and the i6 will be equal to one so according to this okay expression that we have calculated earlier okay if i5 and the i6 will be equal to one then this y naught will be equal to one because i5 will be equal to one y1 will be equal to one and the y2 will be equal to one so our output will be equal to the one 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 and the one and the binary equivalent uh, and the decimal equivalent for this binary number one and one and the one will be equal to seven so after getting after seeing the output we may think that we may think that the input is applied at the i7 but the actual but in the uh, reality the input is applied at the i5 and the i6 so here we will get the output error so we will get the wrong output we will get the wrong wrong output there will be error in the output and to eliminate this error or uh, to eliminate this error we use the priority encoder okay the priority encoder okay uh, to eliminate this type of the error we use error we use the priority encoder here the simple thing is if we provide the 1 1 at the input i5 and the i6 so we will get the output like y not y1 and y1 equal to 1 so if we calculate the decimal equivalent of this we will get the same and we may think that the input is applied at the i7 i7 because according to this when the three input is one this means the input is applied this, this uh, when the three outputs is one then the input is applied at the i7 okay so here we also miscalculate this the input is applied at the i7 but the, actually the input is applied at i5 and the i6 so here we are getting the wrong result right wrong result so to avoid this type of mistake or to avoid this type of uh, wrong uh, uh, error into the this to avoid this type of the error into the output we will use the priority encoder okay we will use the priority encoder all right so let's see the priority encoder let's okay let me erase one of this I will modify only this okay this truth table but please you write the another separate truth table for the priority encoder right for the priority encoder I will only modify this okay truth table but please write okay please write one more truth table for the priority encoder right here I have deleted this Okay, I am changing this name to the priority input. So this is the priority eight to three encoder. Okay, eight to three encoder, right? See uh, how we are solving that problem. Okay, here this is the y not y one and the y two, and here. Okay, right, right, like this. Okay, so if we provide, okay, if we provide 0, 0, 0, 0, so this is the first phase in like this only. Okay, if we provide the 0, 0, 0, 0, the first case is like this. Okay, now if we provide 0, 0, 0, 1, okay, then the output will be 0, 0, 0, 0, okay, 0, 0, 0, like. If we provide this I1, if we, we apply high input, high input, input uh, sorry, high input, okay, if we apply the high input at I1, and here 
it may be 0 or it may be 1, it may be 0 and it may be 1, the output will be 0, 0, 1. Okay, so this, this is the reason why it's called the priority encoder because uh, the priority uh, in this priority is given to the higher bit, okay, higher digit, higher digit, the priority is given to the higher digit or we can say the priority is given to the higher input bit, okay. So if we provide 1 here and here, if we provide either 0, either 1, then output will be this. If we provide 1 here and we provide either 0, either 1, output will be like this. If we provide 0, either 1, output will be like this. If we provide either 0, output oh, will be this. If we provide 2 to 4 and 5, let me take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, okay. So here we get the output like this, okay. So see here, if we provide the output, okay, if we provide the input, at i7 bit, if, if we provide the input at i7 bit, and if all this okay bit will be either 0 or 1, our output will be equal to the 1, 1, and 1. Our output will be equal to the 1 and 1 and 1. Okay, and this to convert this into the decimal equivalent, we will get the same. And this means the input is applied at the same. Similarly, if the input is applied at i6, and this should be equal to 0, okay this should be equal to 0 and the priority is given to this one okay and this all may be 0 may be 1 then the output will be equal to the 1 1 0 so the error that occur into the normal encoder is shown here right it's shown here if in this if it's written 0 okay if i will write i5 equal to 1 and i6 will be equal to 1 then here the output will be the input will be 0 this is the i7, 0, 1, 1, i5, and the i6. So, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. Now, this is the i6, and this is the i5, i4, i3, i2, i1, and the i1. Okay. So, the output will be equal to this 1, 1, and the 0. And earlier, for this case, this, this is the case for priority encoder and for normal encoder in the case of normal encoder for the same input we get the output as 111 so this get the wrong output and this is giving the right output so we use the priority encoder more often than the normal encoder okay so and then the normal encoder right so this is the advantage of the priority encoder over the normal encoder Right, it's given it's give the priority to the higher most bits of the input. Okay. Means if the i5 or i6 will be equal to 1, then it will give the priority to the i6 and it will show the result as 110. If similarly the i7 and i3 bit will be equal to 1, then it will show the priority to the i7 and the result will be 1, 1 and 1. Okay. I hope. Uh, it will be the crystal clear to all of you right so in the next lecture we are going to see the uh, problems okay problems from um, uh, multiplexer demultiplexer encoder decoder okay right we will see the problem from this uh, four topic and this four topic is really very important for the get as well as es and after that after uh, after that problem we are going to start Okay, with the uh, adder, subtractor, compressor, okay, ripper carry adder, okay, look ahead carry adder, okay, carry look ahead adder and carry save adder, okay, carry save adder is not important, okay, it's not asking for the gate, okay, and yes, but the uh, carry look ahead adder is important and the ripper carry adder is uh, really important, okay, okay, thank you for attending the class, okay, thank you very much.